Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fun uh, thrift haul for you guys. I went shopping on my lunch break again at the consignment store across the street from my job and I found some really cute things and I wanted to share them with you guys. So I ended up spending, I think like $17 total. Um, so I don't really know what everything breaks down to, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you the things I do know, I'll tell you. So the first thing I picked up are these really cool, um, they used to be part of a light. They would have gone this way, this would have screwed in. But I think these are going to be really cute if you just set like a little tea light or even a like a pillar type candle under them. I'm going to use battery operated, that way it doesn't have an issue of heat breaking the glass. But I picked up two of these and these were $2 a piece. So let me just grab this guy. So I mean the fact that I have two makes it where I could put them on like our nightstands or I could put them on an end table, um, on the mantle. Like there's a whole bunch of places I could do that. And I just think it'd be really cool with a fake candle inside. Okay. So I also picked up this basket. And this reminds me of like the ones you would pick up, like a global type inspired design. So it's like woven around here and here is more like a fine mesh. But I think this is going to be really cool hung on a wall. And I think that's probably how the original person did because you can see it's like stretched out here. So I'm guessing it was hanging on a hook. This was $2 and I'm going to go ahead and probably hang this here in my dining room. I also picked up a shelf to do a little DIY with. So I am going to go ahead and get rid of this part with the heart. This here has a plate, a uh, little like plate groove. And that's why I picked this up. I'm going to go ahead and try and make this work in my kitchen, maybe above my apron hook, kind of make it look like one unit, like there's a plate rack on top and then the aprons hang underneath. And then I'll have the corbels left over or else I can move them out further to the side. But this was only $2, I think. And you can't get wood that cheap even, especially with the plate ledge in it. So I'm excited to try that and see if I can kind of make it work and come up with something. Now this next thing I got is ridiculous, but it's one of those things that I'm going to probably use a lot. And I think you call it a snood or a snood or something, but basically it's like one of those sleeves that you put around your neck. Um, it's new with tags from Old Navy. And because I'm fun, I'm going to go ahead and just put it on to show you guys. So I'm going to use this probably like when I'm hiking or walking in the winter if it's outside and it's cold or like shoveling snow, but basically it's just one of those things you can kind of like sink your face into, but it's fleece, so it's soft, and uh, it was a dollar. So I think that will end up actually getting a lot of use. I also found a white plate, which I was like beyond excited about. This one is huge. And this was, I think, two or three dollars. That number down there is just the consigner number. But I paid 2 or $3 for this, and the back says John Maddock and Sons, Royal Vitreous, England. So I'm going to show you guys that up close in case you want to see it. Okay. I hope that focused right. All right. And then the last two things that I picked up are actually for my niece. I found these little cows. And these are some kind of either a calico critter or a Sylvanian family type thing. They're the little like flocked animals and they have the little one in green and then the little one in yellow. And I think I paid a dollar for these. I just thought they were really cute. And I know that my mom, when, when she comes over to my mom's house, my mom has like a fairy garden and the fairies leave little things. So sometimes it's cool to pick up things like that could be small and used for stuff like that. And then I also picked her up a t-shirt. This t-shirt is a size bigger than her, but I had to get it because it says Snap Queen. And right now she is at that age where um, she's like obsessed with Snapchat. She Snapchats my mom constantly, <laughs> like all kinds of just weird, like silly things. So I just thought that would be really cute. She would appreciate that. It's from the children's place. It's a 10, 12. She would probably actually be a medium, which is like an eight, I think. But 
even if she has to wear it like long with leggings or just hold on to it, I think that she'll appreciate that. And that was either one or two dollars, I don't remember. But I thought for a children's place shirt, that's an okay deal. So those are the things I picked up on my lunch break. And I knew, I knew I forgot something, you guys. I had these sitting up here behind me so the dogs wouldn't get them. I picked up a set of salt and pepper shakers and they actually still have stuff in them. That's why they were up. But they're a set of turkey ones to go with my little collection. I saw on Pinterest either last year or two years ago, somebody had this amazing collection of like mini turkey, mostly salt and pepper shakers. Some were just figurines. But I saw it and like they had them all grouped together. And there's something about a collection when it's like all grouped together that just makes it seem kind of like I just couldn't stop looking at the picture. I saved it and it made me want to try and do that. So I picked up this set to add to my collection around Thanksgiving. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing them kind of like this mini haul.